Well, good evening, and God bless all you kind, wonderful people. Y'all are the sweetest, most wonderful folks. You're, you've been far too kind in your compliments and encouragement over my rendition last night of uh, That's What Friends Are For, uh, done in tribute to my dear friend and the dear friend of so many people, and uh, of Judy Eubank, and, uh, who passed away yesterday. And so many lives she touched in such a quiet, unassuming, sweet, gentle way. And despite your overly kind remarks, because I went back and listened to it myself, and you're far too generous, I still today have been, I have to confess, a little melancholy and mournful and contemplative. Dummy me, it takes something like the death of a dear sweet spirit and dear friend like Judy to kind of bring me into the present. I uh, spend a lot of time in a very presumptuous way, a very assuming way presuming on the future, assuming the future when it's not promised to me, making plans and not saying, Lord willing, I'm going to do this, but just saying, I'm going to do this. And, uh, and maybe some of y'all can relate. Uh, but times like this always kind of bring me to my senses, but it just doesn't last. Shame on me. But uh, the Lord rescues me, even little old dummy me. Uh, even today, amazing. While I'm thinking about all these things, I, I get a request sent to me from someone who remembered a song I wrote and I brought to y'all over five months ago. I wrote the song early this year, but I posted it over five months ago, right at the beginning of this pandemic thing when I was trying to minister in this kind of meager way. And, uh, just blessed me today remembered the song and it was right in keeping with exactly where I was thinking. I wrote this song earlier this year after having experienced a life-threatening illness and a very discouraging time late last year when I was convinced my time on this earth was through. But after coming through it, uh, I was inspired to write this song entitled, Lord, Thank You for the Time. You know, uh, it's amazing. I hope and pray I can be more in the moment and more appreciative of every moment I have and not assume and presume because, you know, Paul told the Ephesians, redeem the time. Make the most of your time. Make the most of every moment was what he was saying, wasn't he? And in, in Ecclesiastes, there's a season for everything, a time for every matter unto heaven, a time to be born, a time to die. And James asks us the rhetorical question only to answer it for us. What is your life? You're nothing but a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. So uh, let's be thankful that we'll all be re reunited with Judy and all of our loved ones one day. But while we're here, Lord, thank you for the time. Another year has come and gone And Lord, you've blessed me once again To see another old year out And another new year in How many more will I be granted? How many more will be mine? It's not for me to know, but Lord, thank you for the time. Time with mom and dad, and all those precious times we had. Time with brother, sister too. Time with my love, oh so true. Time with all my kids, Time with my friends and all my kin Lord, thank you once again How long one's life will be Is such a mystery But no matter how long one lives This life on earth is but a mist so I yearn to make it last 
Because it goes so fast So till those golden stairs I climb Lord, thank you for the time Time with mom and dad And all those precious times we had Time with brother, sister too Time with my love Oh, so true Time with all my kids Time with my friends and all my kin Lord, thank you once again So till those golden stairs I climb Lord, thank you for the time Amen, and God bless you. Back on task tomorrow night with another wind song. <laughs> I know you can hardly wait. God bless you. Amen. <laughs>